to another video. Sorry I haven't filmed for a while. Have been out hiking and things but just haven't got the GoPro out to do any footage. So we are back in the Dolomites in Italy and we've been skiing here for about two weeks. Had it as a bit of a honeymoon um, after getting married in September so thought we'd take an extended ski trip and we're actually leaving today but I realised I haven't recorded an intro to the video so rather than like last year I just recorded um, us skiing and quite a bit of footage of that I thought that this year I'd do something a little bit different so um, we're actually expecting a baby in April so I'm currently 25 weeks tomorrow pregnant uh, which is very exciting so we still took the decision to come skiing um, we've been skiing well a large number of years we had a bit of a mixed review perhaps of coming skiing while pregnant um, so I just wanted to make a tips video on anyone that's thinking of coming skiing um, and while being pregnant so I definitely wouldn't recommend coming skiing for the first time whilst you're pregnant but we took the decision to do it because I'm pretty confident competent skier um, fairly confident with it I've stayed very much within my comfort level um, haven't gone and done any crazy stuff not gone off piece not done any jumps just um, literally been skiing quite well within my own ability everyone needs to take their own decision uh, during pregnancy as to what they choose to do um, exercise wise and what sports they continue to do so I'm not recommending um, for anyone else but this is just my own personal journey I with just it. wanted to record something that um, is quite positive that if you were coming skiing 10 tips basically for coming out skiing um, while you're pregnant just stuff that I found has been quite helpful while I've been here so I looked quite a bit online prior to coming skiing as to what sort of the advice was um, didn't find a great deal other than don't come <laughs> Um, main reasons were the high altitude um, but if you're staying lower level and only skiing up at the higher altitude I found personally it's been fine I probably wouldn't go and stay right high up on the tops anywhere for any length of time and obviously the obvious danger of people colliding into you the danger of the sport etc so I found it quite negative um, and that's kind of why I've wanted to make this video is a bit more of a positive spin on it and how you can continue to do the sports that you love. So personally I took the decision to come, been fairly careful while I've been here, been very careful if there's any sort of icy conditions just really slowed it down and if ever it got busy on the slopes which it's not been at this time of year thankfully um, again I've just slowed it right down and been super careful and sensible about things so hope you enjoy this video and hope that it provides just a few useful tips for anyone that's thinking of going skiing again it's not a recommendation uh, video you can consult advice from midwives and doctors and things like that I'm not here to give anybody any advice but I just thought this type of video would have been helpful to me potentially prior to coming just to give me a bit more confidence that actually it's okay and it's been fine while I've been here and just to document my journey whilst being pregnant so it'll be nice to look back on uh, in a year or two and think that a little six month old baby has been uh, been skiing already <laughs> to something to do 
prior to you actually going away. So try on all your ski gear and know what fits and what doesn't fit and what you need to get new things of. So most of my underlayers fitted, so my thermals and t-shirts and fleeces. I am 24 and a half weeks now, so definitely got bigger since I got here. Um, but my salopettes were quite tight and so was my coat, my jacket. So thankfully I've been able to borrow things off people and not have to buy other things, but you could just buy a cheap alternative or if you've got someone that you can borrow it off, then definitely do that. But try everything on so that you don't get here and think, oh crikey, I don't fit into any of my kit. <laughs> Tip number two is to have some nice person carry your skis for you. Like so. <laughs> and that way you can focus on walking and not slipping on the ice. And also it's lighter. So if you're going uphill and it's hard work, it doesn't matter so much because all you've got to carry is your poles. Thanks. <laughs> Number three, why walk when you can ski? So any little flat section or remotely downhill at all, even slightly up just to get between lifts, just ski them because it's way easier than walking and it's less tiring. Oh. And you beat the snowboarders every time. Ciao. in the lift enjoy feeling Babs kicking because often whenever I've uh, skied and then had a little rest I felt the baby kicking during the lifts because that's when you obviously sat down I'm like 24 weeks now so obviously I'm at the stage where I should be feeling things but you might not even be that far on but if you are it's quite a nice fluttery feeling just to let you know that everything is okay Number five is fluids intake. Remember to carry some water with you or have regular stops just so you can replenish fluids and keep your water intake up because you probably sweat a bit more than you think um, or you'll be thirstier than you think just with being pregnant. So, cheers! Point number six take it easy when it gets busy. Not that at any point you want to be hitting anybody, but you certainly don't want to be doing it when you're pregnant. So if it gets busy, just wait at the top, let other people down, and just ski nice and slowly so that you don't hit anyone and you can make sure you know where everyone else is around you. Number seven, don't push the boundaries. Everyone will know their own capabilities with skiing and what slopes they feel confident on and which ones they don't. So now is not the time for going off piste if you don't feel confident on it or doing any kind of jumps if you're not confident on those. So sticking to the slopes that you're happy with, slowing down a little bit more than normal if that's what you feel like is a good way to keep everybody safe. Tip number eight, don't worry if you lose your confidence halfway through the week. I was skiing on quite an icy run, normally I'm pretty good on ice, um, but I just totally lost my nerve, probably to do with pregnancy, a number of factors, don't really know, but the next couple of days I just felt really nervous wherever I was skiing, so just 
just pick a nice blue run or a nice shallow red run get your turns back in gear and just find that confidence again and you'll start loving it once more ready let's go nine is just to know that you'll probably get a bit more tired quicker than you would normally so know when to rest know when to take it easy and recognize when your body just needs to chill out so midway through our trip I just felt exhausted I don't know whether the baby was growing or what but for a couple of days I just couldn't get out of bed first thing in the mornings um, and it took me a while to come round and I felt like my legs were really tired as well. So we just had an easier chilled out morning, started skiing half an hour later and took a chance to grab a hot chocolate when we could from the cafe, sit down for lunch and just get try and get a good night's sleep as well. So just take it easy. Before I knew it, my energy levels were back up to pretty much normal and we could crack on as normal, but just knowing that that little dip might come again and I might just need to take another little bit of time to rest and recuperate. You're on holiday by the way, so you can do that as well. least make sure you have fun and give yourself the credit that you deserve that you're out here skiing while pregnant. Woo!